In this video, I am going to try and explain how a telescope works, with light explained as a wave and a particle, or photon. This will be done using a new theory that explains the universe as a continuum, with an uncertain future coming into existence photon by photon, relative to the atoms of the periodic table. I will use my own telescope to explain this. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light is forming an interactive process of cause and effect with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the mirrors and eyepiece of the telescope. Light waves from the object being observed will enter the telescope and will collapse into photons when they come in contact with the primary mirror. This will form new light waves relative to the condition and curvature of the mirror. When these light waves come in contact with the secondary mirror, they will collapse into new photons relative to the condition and angle of the mirror. This will form new light waves that will collapse into photons when they travel through the lens of the eyepiece. The waves of light from the eyepiece are then collapsed into new photons when they come in contact with the eye of the observer. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. The human eye will collapse the wave-particle duality of light into new photons, just like the atoms of any other object in the universe. We have free will. If the observer does not look into the eyepiece of the telescope, those potential photons will remain waves of light. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves continuously. Therefore, when I explain how a telescope works with light as a wave and a particle, I am explaining a universal process of energy exchange that the whole of physics is based upon. This process of energy exchange forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life. We see and feel this process from the centre of our own reference frame as the continuum of time. This might sound very odd, but we are always in the moment of now in the centre of our own reference frame, with the potential to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. The main effect of this universal process of energy exchange has on us is the ageing process. But above all, this is a creative process that forms a potential for art and poetry, with light as a wave over a period of time, and a photon as the future unfolds, relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. The Planck constant represents a constant of action in a geometrical process that we see and feel as the passage of time. At the smallest scale of this process, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle represents the same uncertainty we have with any future event. The quantum wave particle function represents the passage of time at the smallest scale of this process, with the potential uncertainty of everyday life being formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.